I have no additional information to share regarding the shooting deaths. They held a news conference Thursday, but authorities in Kenosha, Wisconsin, did not share any new updates or take any questions. Thank you. Thank you very much for your patience, ladies and gentlemen. What you On the shootings that have thrust their city into the spotlight this week amid a global reckoning over racial injustice and police brutality. Arrest assured those investigations continue. A calmer scene into Thursday morning in Kenosha, where unrest has erupted since Sunday, sparked by the police shooting of Jacob Blake, a 29-year-old black man who remains in hospital paralyzed, his family says, from the waist down. The U.S. Department of Justice now opening a federal civil rights probe into the shooting captured in a disturbing cell phone video. While holding on to Mr. Blake's shirt, Officer Rustin Shesky fired his service weapon seven times. Wisconsin's attorney general on Wednesday identifying the officer who shot Blake in the back in front of Blake's children as the 29-year-old opened his car door. During the investigation following the initial incident, uh, Mr. Blake admitted that he had a knife in his possession uh, and DCI agents, that's the Division of Criminal Investigation, uh, recovered a knife from the driver's side floorboard of Mr. Blake's vehicle. No other weapons were found. The officers involved are all on administrative leave. Oh, he shot him. And new information continues to emerge about the 17-year-old white suspect arrested after the shot fatal him. shooting of two people amid the unrest in Kenosha. Kyle Rittenhouse was charged Wednesday with first-degree intentional homicide. U.S. media reports he seemingly had an affinity for guns and idolized law enforcement with social media posts declaring that Blue Lives Matter. BuzzFeed reporting the teen attended a Trump campaign rally in January. <laughs> Kenosha authorities not confirming if Rittenhouse is among the civilian militia descending on the community this week. Video appears to show police allowing the accused armed with a rifle to walk past them Tuesday night after the shootings. And Donald Trump Thursday seemingly ignoring reporter questions when asked whether or not he's seen the video of the police shooting of Jacob Blake. And by the way, Rittenhouse, he is expected to make a court appearance on Friday. Melissa Duggan, City News.